It's a weekend of ice fishing took a turn for the worst at a popular spot in Beltrami County yesterday. Authorities say a sheet of ice broke off from the shore and then floated away with dozens of people trapped on top of it. Fox 9's Bab Santos joining us in our studio after speaking with a man who had to be rescued. So what happened, Babs? Well, Randy and Kelsey, this situation just another reminder that ice thickness and temperatures aren't the only thing you have to pay attention to before going out on the ice. The strength of the wind and the direction of the wind also just as important and maybe even dangerous. I mean, there was not an unhappy soul on that lake. Dale Mord says this year's annual ice fishing trip with friends on Red Lake is one he'll never forget. We've been getting a lot of hate today, and um, I can understand why, but it's funny that all the hate comes from everyone that wasn't even there. And to say that, you know, we were putting people's lives at risk, Around 4 p.m. on a windy Sunday afternoon, Mord was with a group that learned the ice underneath them was floating away in the wind, and it was already too late to get back on shore. It was about 20 feet of open water, and, and obviously it just got worse and worse. Stuck on the chunk of floating ice, they were stranded, unable to reach land in Beltrami County for more than four hours. Mord recorded videos as strong winds blew the ice further away from the shore and into the middle of Upper Red Lake. There's not a whole lot you can do. You just say, well, well looks like we're, we got to find some help and uh, that or wait. I mean, we were prepared to stay out there all night if we had to. Instead, this body camera video from a DNR conservation officer shows first responders eventually rescuing more than 30 people with an airboat. Early in the season, this isn't an uncommon event at Upper Red Lake. Um, we do see it from year to year. So we saw it last year and I think we saw it back in 2019. DNRI safety coordinator Nicole Biaggi believes the ice on Red Lake shore is closing in on 12 inches in some spots, but with open water at the center, as she explains, all it takes are strong winds to break the ice and create a lot of problems for anglers. Everything went right this time, but things could go a lot worse. Uh, luckily, nobody ended up in the water. We were still fishing. I mean, we were having a ball. Everyone was kind of just, all right. Who's got the beer? Who's got this? Who's got that? We're fishing. Kind of like in the south when they have hurricane parties is kind of what was happening. And tonight the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office wants to remind anglers this warm weather and recent rain have made for some inconsistent ice conditions up there. Randy. All right, Babs, thank you. Another